pray, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray that your will will be done. For 14 years, we do it every Friday around this time. Uh, we come out and we feed people, right? We feed them first the spiritual word of God, we call it, and then we give them physical food. We let them know that, hey, you don't have to come to listen to the word of God in order to, for us to give you food. If you just want to come when we're serving, you can come when we're serving. You don't have to listen to me. I'm, I'm nothing special. I don't have nothing great to say to you except for what's in the word of God. Sunday. Hardest hit place in Los Angeles, still praising God, still giving Him the glory, still coming out on Friday nights. And what I've started to notice is happening is that more and more people are coming back every week. There are all kinds of, of people who come here. There are people who are housed. There are about 9,000 people who are housed right here in Los Angeles in, what's, in, in Skid Row, what's called single residency occupancies. Right, they're little small apartments, kind of like the size of a, a jail cell, a small jail cell. There's a lot of good people down here, but it's like the has-beens, the ex-gang members, the ex-pimps or prostitutes, ex-parolees, ex-probation, or their family just forgot about them. So they end up coming down here. It's something down here, and it's kind of like Paul when he said, I'm betwixt between the two. To stay, excuse me, to stay down here or to go in heaven. When you come in Skid Row, you have to put on the season 618, your whole armor of God. Because even when you don't want to do something, you see somebody doing something, so you end up wanting to do it. About 400,000 people are at risk of facing eviction due to uh, COVID-19. And all our elected officials are doing are passing eviction moratoriums. Well, after the moratorium, somebody has to pay that rent, right? And so after the moratorium, all landlords are gonna do is proceed with evictions, right? Uh, with the eviction process. And so we're asking them to cancel rent. It's small movements like this that will shift the paradigm. We can't focus on the hate. We can't focus on what's going on in Washington, D.C. We need to focus right here at home, individually with each person you meet and see.